All right, this will be a quick video just to help you guys get started using Pratt. Pratt is the main uh, tool that we'll be using for recording, analyzing, and processing sounds uh, on our computers. It's a really useful tool for phonetic work of all kinds, uh, clinical, uh, research, theoretical, uh, or just to have a bit of fun. So first of all, you need to go to the website, www.prat.org. That's Prat, P-R-A-A-T. I think it's something, some Dutch word meaning speech. Here's the website that you see. Uh, at the upper left, you have a bunch of options for downloading it, depending on what kind of system you have on your computer. So download it. Uh, you'll have instructions for how to uh, deal with it once you've downloaded it. Uh, there's also options for downloading uh, special phonetic fonts if you want to. Once you've downloaded it, then you can launch it, however that works in your system. In this case, uh, I have a Mac here, but Prat itself will look much the same uh, across systems. You get two basically blank windows. Uh, with a few menus and some buttons. In order to create a new sound, we can go under New. Well, first of all, you could load a sound. I'll be giving you sounds to, to use for transcriptions and just illustrations in the lectures. So you can open a sound file, uh, or you can create a sound from a mathematical formula uh, and various other ways. The vowel editor might be fun, especially once you've learned a bit more. Uh, you can also record a sound. If your computer has a built-in mic or you have a mic connected to it, you'll be able to do this. Uh, select the mic. Uh, usually mono sounds is okay. Sampling frequency. Uh, usually the default is okay. 44.1 kilohertz. Hit record and it'll show you how loud things are. It's recording. Uh, it'll uh, take everything that you say, everything that it hears, uh, you want that jumping bar to stay green, but to get fairly high. Uh, you don't want it to get up into the yellow or the red, like that. Uh, because that cuts off some sound when, when the sound is too loud. Uh, otherwise, just hit stop when you're done. You can give your recording a name. And hit save to the list and close. This is the object list here on the right, and you notice we have our sound with the name we gave it there. Uh, we can ask questions about it, but really what we want to do is, is use the edit button here, and we can see the sound. Uh, at the top, this is the waveform, and if I select something and hit the cell button at the bottom, that's short for select, I zoom in. Uh, I can see the spectrogram on the bottom. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more with uh, on the Mac Command I, Control I on other systems, and you can see the waveform at the top resolving into discrete cycles. This is our quasi-periodic waveform, and at the bottom each cycle has its own spectral component. This is the spectrogram at the bottom. You notice it has a, a vertical pulse of energy for each vocal, uh, each cycle and then the formats showing up after that. And as I zoom out, the individual pulses kind of blend together and we get distinct formants evolving over time. We have some noise, all sorts of fun stuff to look at. Uh, and we'll be talking more about that in the lectures. If I just close that, remember Pratt doesn't automatically save things as you record them. So if you want to save it, go to the right menu. For sounds, just write to a WAV file. That's the uh, easiest way to do it and pick where you want it to go. All right, so now you know how to use Prat. Do download it, start practicing using it as soon as possible, and let me know if you have any problems with that. This is a very important tool, and uh, it'll be very hard to get all of the concepts that you need in this course without using Prat.